How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Have you ever had one of those days where you just really, really crave for something and you really want a large amount of it? I guess me eating healthy for like months and months at a time just sort of leaves something to be desired. For some reason, a few days ago, I got this idea that I want some fried chicken. I pass by a Popeyes and I'm like, I want a lot of it. Now I know I can probably only eat maybe three four pieces at most. If I get a meal, this is what people have. You see on their flyer, it says two can dine and it gives you five pieces, okay? Two people, five pieces, I guess one person has three, another person has two pieces and two sides and two biscuits. But my mind says I can do 10 pieces. Now I think I can eat a lot and I think a lot of people think they can eat a lot. But for some reason, time after time, our thoughts are bigger than our stomachs. I'd still want to get this 10 piece over here just because it's 10 pieces, it's a nice round number, and quite likely it's going to be much more than what I can finish because today, I want to eat as much as I can. I just want to like, just pig out. It comes with 10 pieces, mixed of course, I'm not going to get any of this tender stuff which is just chicken breast meat, two large sides, and five biscuits. Now whenever I watch those mukbang videos, I always think, man, why are they forcing themselves to eat so much? Certainly self-mutilation and sort of causing oneself pain is not my thing on this channel. What I am doing here is I truly, truly want to eat more. I crave it, so I think I'm going to eat as much as I can, but not to the point where I'm going to explode and to the point where it hurts or anything. So now I'm going to go get the chicken and bring it back and eat it here. What I'm going to do different on this episode is weigh each item that I'm eating, including the drinks, and also myself. Because I just want to know, how does my weight change? How much weight of stuff can I have in terms of meat, in terms of how much weight in mashed potatoes, how much weight in drinks that I'm having? And I'm going to try to monitor my weight after I use number one, number two, and maybe my weight even decreases as I breathe because there's going to be evaporation of water from my body and we're going to be able to see that it probably tapers down as I evaporate and then when I have a drink of water or something, it's going to spike back up, I guess. So let's get to it. Keep in mind, I ate a normal dinner yesterday and this is around lunchtime for me. My lunchtime is all screwed up. Uh, it's about 3 p.m. right now and I ate lunch in the past three couple days at around 3 p.m. So let's just consider this is lunch and I did not starve myself. Sometimes when you know you're about to go to some all-you-can-eat competition, for example, the Fall Challenge in San Francisco, when I knew I was going to it, I'm like, okay, maybe I shouldn't eat. I should eat less or something. No, that's the wrong way to do it. You have to keep on eating your normal rate and if you starve yourself, maybe a meal before you do the competition, your stomach is going to feel hurt and it's not going to be able to eat as much. So it's important to eat your normal amount and then the next meal, then you eat again. So anyway, here's my coupon and uh, 19 bucks. After tax can be 21. So what, I eat like the $3 meals, it's gonna be like a whole week's worth of food. Realistically, I think maybe I can eat five pieces. I'm like, but then I want to be able to eat 10 pieces. I feel like I should be able to eat 10 pieces without forcing myself. I'm just gonna be able to eat because a lot of people, when people uh, see me eat, all you can eat or whatever they're like oh my gosh i cannot believe you can have so much food Ooh, they have a drive through so i'm gonna go drive through i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna walk in yeah here we go drive through I have a coupon for 10 piece mix. The 10 piece mix and two large size and five biscuits. 10 pieces spicy on my own. Oh, spicy please. Okay, what can you do side dishes? Macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Mmm, smells good. Smells like Popeyes. Can it be done? Can I eat? 
10 pieces. You know, people say Popeyes is way better than KFC. I mean, I had that one video where um, you order fresh KFC wings and it's really, really good when you order it fresh. But when you just normally walk into KFC and order something that's just, the chicken's just been sitting around, then that's not so good. It's like, it dries out and stuff like that. But I'm sure if like they freshly fry their recipe, um, it would be very good. I'm surprised, that thing doesn't come in the bucket. So anyway, let's head home right now and start munching on this giant pile of chicken. Here it is, five biscuits. I'm gonna close this for now so it won't get cold. It's interesting that I buy a whole family worth of dinner and they only give me seven napkins here. Mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, two spoons, the chicken. Now I'm gonna weigh everything with this little scale here. 2.32 pounds chicken, 0.69 pounds for the five biscuits with the box, mac and cheese, 0.9 pounds, mashed potatoes, 0.91 pounds. Now I'm gonna measure my water intake as well. I'm gonna tear this cup. Water tends to be quite heavy, I think. Point four eight. Okay. Half a pound of water is like this. Now here's all the chicken pieces. I'm just gonna lay them all out on the plate here. One wing. Oh, this is a tiny one. Two wing. A breast piece here. Another breast piece here. I don't know what this is. A thigh. Another thigh. Six pieces. Drumstick. Drumstick. Drumstick and another breast piece. It seems like these guys, man, one breast piece is like the weight of four of these drumsticks. Uh, hold on a second. I really got to weigh each one of these. Then we would really know how much value you're getting for each of one of them. Breast one, 0.44 pounds. Breast two, 0.35 pounds. Breast three, 0.4 pounds. Thigh one, 0.22. Thigh two, 0.17. Drum one, 0.13. Drum 2, 0.13. Drum 3, 0.11. Wing 1, 0.1. Wing 2, 0.09. I have recorded my weight and the water here is half a pound, so I'm gonna take a sip of this. Now, let's begin. As I said, I've numbered these. This is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2 for the thighs, 1, 2, 3 for the breast meat. I like the drumstick, so I'm gonna have some of this first. I got the spicy one. Now people probably don't like me speaking while I'm eating, but this is just something I like to do. Laying it all out like this is probably gonna make things cooler, faster. Mm, you know, it's not the most crispy of chickens. Um, it seems like they've been sitting there for a little while. And I know I probably should have gotten some vegetables or something. What was I thinking? Sorry about this, but I'm putting the bone back where it belongs because I know the ordering of them. I'm gonna be measuring the bone later on to see how much meat, how much actual food that you're gonna get. They only give you two spoons here. So one spoon for each uh, side order. I assume <laughs> they think that you're only gonna need one spoon, I guess, to scoop it into uh, something else. But let me try some of this. It's non-standard. It has a little bit of garlicky flavor. Mm. And um, the mac and cheese over here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a bit more watery than I'm used to for mac and cheese. Okay, I'm gonna have a piece of the thigh now. So this whole thing is probably, I'd say about four pounds of actual food that you're gonna eat without the bones, without the boxes and things like that. I don't know, actually, I've never measured how much solids I could actually eat. So this will be interesting. As a measure of um, how much value I can actually eat whenever I do go to all you can eat, although I don't want to go to all you can eat. <laughs> So let's say I'm able to eat like three pounds and then I go, okay, shrimp. 
or or let's say snow crab legs how much does it cost to buy three pounds of snow crab legs just the meat though you can't count the the shell <clears throat> I got spicy by the way spicy it's not super duper spicy you probably don't want to scare everyone away if it's like really really spicy not everyone can take a higher level of spiciness so this is more like baseline spicy speaking of baseline i measured my baseline weight before eating all this including um before i drank a sip of water i don't know all this looks doable to me possibly i've never tried eating so much before also i tend to clean my bones a lot it's very clean after i'm done with it because i like eating the cartilage so i eat like every little bit of edible material on there so previously whenever i eat um it would be like just in very moderation hey do you guys ever eat like the little little trap liver thing that's inside i know people love this thing and some people just avoid it you know my first impression is that 10 pieces come on man like one two three four five six pieces these six is lighter in weight than these breast pieces why are the breast pieces in the united states so big right and it makes you feel like it's not very worth it and yet you can get chicken tenders okay and they'll be like okay you can get 10 pieces of those it, i like i kind of feel like when they sell chicken tenders it's like really good for profits because it doesn't cost them that much i feel like i should be getting some honey or something with these biscuits biscuits a little salty it's crunchy buttery not very very buttery but buttery i feel like maybe the breast pieces is what's gonna do me in because they're so large oh that was number one piece right here <clears throat> okay i need to eat i'll just eat this one number two piece right in the middle no chicken in there it's just batter okay it's still good though it's crunchy if you look at regular chicken i almost feel like if you cut a regular chicken into friable pieces the breast meat will be even larger than this like if you use those um regular chickens from the supermarket the breast meat itself is slightly dry just slightly not very very dry slightly dry that can be better here's what the chicken looks like the chicken breast part at least some water now you may wonder how good is this for you in terms of cholesterol i'm pretty sure that it's not very good for you because you have the starches here more starch more starch meat fat there's no fibers whatsoever i could have gotten uh, green beans or something as a side great now that i started tracking the weight of everything i almost feel like i need to finish everything um so that i would know the weight of the bones after i'm done with them If I slowly eat, I should be able to finish, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's getting so dry that I need to like complement it with other stuff. I've worked through three small pieces. And this is a large piece, so this is four pieces already. If I eat one more, that's already a meal for two people that they say on the coupon. It's gonna be for two people if i had a choice i would like to not have any breast pieces please i'm sure eating this is going to contribute to heart disease or something apparently heart disease is a very high killer in the united states i feel like it should be okay if you know i'm not eating this every day this is like once uh, never this is like i never i never eat this many I hardly even go out to eat um, fried chicken even. I'm eating the bone, backbone here. Okay, I have to keep those bones separate so I can measure it later. This is gonna be interesting. Whatever weight I end up being, whatever weight I was before plus whatever weight I ate, or is it gonna be a little bit less due to, I don't know, evaporation or something? Because I did notice that when I weighed myself before going to sleep and then after waking up, I got a little bit lighter. I think they say you sweat about two cups of water 
So according to that, you'll be like about a pound less, I think. See, I think the wings here are a little pathetic because it's, it's very tiny. Look at this, right? Uh-oh. I'm starting to feel a little full. I can feel it. Maybe I need to slow down. I'm just kind of enjoy it. Maybe I can just tackle the smaller pieces so that I can say, oh, I ate eight pieces. <clears throat> I'm like, not these two big guys over here. Mm. People, after they go eat a buffet, they're like, oh, I'm, I feel like I'm five pounds heavier or 10 pounds heavier, but how can it? Can someone's stomach actually hold 10 pounds of food? I don't know. Mm. 4.2, it's actually about 4.9 pounds for all of this stuff with the boxes. I doubt the boxes are gonna be one pound, so I'd say four and a half pounds of food here. I think maybe the biscuits are supposed to have honey. I didn't ask for it. Like, I don't go there enough to know what to ask for um, in terms of condiments. They don't ask you if you want whatever. It's a bit salty for me. Like the surface is more salty than the inside. I feel like they probably brush it with um, butter, salted butter. Maybe this normally feeds a family of four or five. This sauce tastes sort of like, like a powdered form and they just mix it with hot water. Humpful in my feeling, um, 80%. Feels like 80%, like the feeling is 80%, but I feel like maybe it's like higher, like, the, the, the stuff is in my stomach, but it's not registering it. You can probably ask for all dark meat only, in which case you'll only get the small tiny pieces. And if I got 10 of those, then I probably can finish all of them. However, the value is probably gonna be a lot lower if you ever wanted all dark meat. It's probably a lot of salt because of the volume of chicken that I'm eating. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to drink more water. Mashed potato probably have a whole bunch of salt in it. Biscuits have a whole bunch of salt, so, you know, I can't really eat out all that much often because I always, like, after I eat out, I'm, like, drinking water for, like, days. I'm almost there. Like I said, I don't really want to force myself. Oh, I feel full. Six pieces. Maybe I can do seven. Don't like biscuits all that much, although I still bought them. Mmm. I'll have a drumstick. This might be the last piece. The marginal satisfaction you get from every single piece keeps on going down. And I think after a certain point, it plummets. Like right now, I think the satisfaction I'm having from this last piece I'm having versus the first piece of drumstick that I had, the taste, you know, all of it added together, it's cooled down and stuff. It's probably like, half of the satisfaction or even less than that, maybe 30% of it. And I'm sure if I like keep on eating all of this just to stuff myself, just to finish all of it or anything, then, um, you know, it's gonna be like negative satisfaction because that's like forcing it. And you know, I, I, I don't wanna do that. I might have to come back, you know, eat this in another meal and um, do the measurements of the weight of the bones and all this other stuff. But after I eat, I certainly will measure everything again, just to have a gauge of how much I actually ate. Yeah, this piece is definitely the last one. Feeling full. Maybe I could have skipped this last piece, but I'm in the middle of it. You know, I can't stop now. I don't know how those people do it. Those people that can eat like something, yeah, like, like a huge, huge bowl of something or like m multiple pounds. I consider myself being able to eat a lot already. When I did that fall challenge, I think they had three pounds of meat, two pounds of um, noodles. And in a fall challenge, when the noodles soaks in the, the broth, um, it picks up more water, which makes it really, really heavy. You know, the trick would be to eat it, you know, take it out of the broth and, and eat it. So you have time to eat it and, and they won't soak up the broth. But I remember specifically that they say you cannot take the noodles out. Then that means you have to eat it as fast as possible. Now, I'm probably going to be able to find out how many pounds I can fit in my stomach after this. Comfortably. I feel like I'm hitting one, hitting 100%. Maybe after I wait a while, I'll feel even more full. The remainder of my half pound of water. 
I suppose I should show my stomach. Yeah, it doesn't really come out or anything. A little bit. I might be able to finish that wing. Um, we'll see. Maybe I can just, you know, coast a little bit. I do like the mashed potato much more than this mac and cheese. This biscuits is probably gonna be just as high in fat content as one of these chicken pieces. Yeah, you know what? I should really stop. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll just finish up this biscuit. Maybe not. Let me get more water. I have to weigh it out. The cup itself is 0.88 pounds. Okay, another half pound of water. I guess people don't drink it this way, but um, I'm measuring weight right now. <sighs> okay, so I went through three napkins, four napkins. Okay, I guess I kind of went through all of the napkins. So definitely not enough napkins if you're gonna have like two people or three eating this, I feel. Maybe if I put mashed potato on my biscuit, it will taste better. Yeah, it makes it tolerable. I'm just not a biscuit person. Okay, now I am completely done. I am going to weigh everything, including the bones, and we weigh this whole biscuit thing over here. See how much one biscuit weighs. We weigh this whole thing without the spoon, of course, because I didn't weigh it with the spoon initially. With the lid, because I was weighing it with the lid, and we can see the difference between um, the initial starting weight and then the final weight. That will let me know how much I actually ate. First number one and three uneaten. Chicken wing two uneaten. Here is chicken wing one. Chicken wing two bones. 0.02 pounds. So we know from this the chicken wing was 0.07 pounds. Drumstick one, 0.02. Drumstick two, 0.02. Drumstick three, 0.02. Thigh one, 0.02. Thigh two, 0.02. A breast piece, 0.03. Mac and cheese, 0.59. Mashed potatoes, 0.28. Biscuits in the box, minus one biscuit, 0.58. Uh, so over here, one biscuit is uh, 0.11 pounds. So now let me go produce a spreadsheet so I can easily tally all this up. Based on the tally, I saw that I ate 0.11 pounds of biscuits. 0.32 pounds of mac and cheese. Now this is excluding the container and stuff because I weighed it before and after. The mashed potatoes and gravy is 0.63 pounds. So you add in all the sides, it turns out to be 1.06 pounds. You look at all the chicken I hate, this is excluding bones, but of course you have the crust and stuff and also the meat. The breast meat, 0.32 pounds. This is one third of a pound. A thigh, 0.2 pounds, one fifth of a pound. Uh, another thigh, 0.15 pounds, so together is 0.35, one third of a pound. Uh, so two, one third of a pound already. So this is already more than a quarter pound burger in terms of meat. A drumstick, 0.11 pound. Drumstick number two, 0.11 pound. Drumstick number three, 0.09 pounds. The wing is the lightest of them all, 0.07 pounds. When you add all this up together, the meat, the starchy crust, uh, the fat or whatever, the skin, all of this add up to be 1.05 pounds. This is about the same weight as the sides that I ate. I drank two glasses of water, each glass 0.5 pounds, half a pound. Uh, so the total is one pound worth of water that I drank. All this totals out to be 3.11 pounds. Now I measured my weight right before eating all this and then also right after and I noticed that my weight changed 2.9 pounds. Now there is 0.21 pounds of weight that's unaccounted for somehow. I think this might just be me dehydrating because I feel like, yeah, when you sit around, you eventually need to drink some water, but you know, 0.2 pounds sounds like a lot of water. Half a pound of water was like this much, 0.2 pound would be this much. So is this much water really evaporating? Even though, you know, I have skin on, it's not that hot a day, so I don't know. I did measure my weight again, roughly about half an hour after because I went to the computer to do this spreadsheet and stuff. And I noticed I weighed another 0.2 pounds lighter. So am I losing a one fifth of a pound um, every single hour or so? So maybe after five hours, I would be one full pound less just from uh, water evaporation maybe. 
So let's move on over here. We see that the average breast meat is 0.397 pounds. After I subtract out the bones, you see that the percentage edible uh, compared to of the amount of bones that's in that piece is 91%. Thigh meat, 90%. The drum meat is 84%. Wing meat is 78%. So the wing has the most bones, which is reasonable. But I think the interesting thing here is to look at the weight of these things. The thigh meat is 0.195 pounds, about one fifth of a pound each piece. The drum is 0.123 pounds. This is close to half the weight of the thigh. The wing is 0.095 pounds, which is also about half the weight of the thigh. So when you look at breast meat, it's 0.4 pounds. When you look at Wing is 0.1 pound. Wing drumsticks, roughly 0.1 pound. Breast meat is four times the weight of a piece of dark meat. So if they're selling it based on a per piece basis, you definitely won't go, okay, I'm gonna eat only breast meat just you know to make it worth it more if they cost the same. For me, I probably would get dark meat anyway, maybe a mixture of them just to even things out. So when you add all the chicken up, you get about 2.14 pounds of meat bones, and also the crust. So it seems like you can probably feed two beat the bushes until I am super duper full. So you got 10 pieces. It looks like it should have fed like four people. So you need to buy double the amount in order for me to be super duper satisfied. So now I'm not gonna completely end the video. I'm gonna set a timer for myself every 60 minutes and also measure my intake of water I probably won't be eating. I probably will only be drinking water and um, evaporating, let's say, just to see how much I evaporate um, in the next few hours. Let me stop this video right now and come back to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I've tracked it for about eight hours after I finished all that chicken. What I realized is that the scale's precision is not all that great. It can be off by up to 0.2 pounds. Over here, you'll see my tracking progress and the time. I weighed the water every single time I drank anything and it turns out that half a pound of water is actually one cup of water. In those eight hours, I drank a total of 2.5 pounds, which is roughly about five cups of water. I did not actually go and measured the volume of water in my number one. I just weighed myself right before I went and weighed myself right after I went. Yes, that measurement amount might not be perfectly correct, but it's just good enough. When I add up all the liquid outputs is 2.2 pounds. So it's a total of about 0.3 pounds. So you see from my initial weight and the final weight, I actually lost 0.2 pounds. This is sort of insignificant. Uh, based on the scale that I was using. But on top of this, my total weight input of water minus the weight output um, in number ones is 0.3 pounds. So my net total input was 0.3 pounds and yet the scale is saying that I lost 0.2 pounds. So the difference here is saying that I have a net loss of 0.5 pounds if my scale is accurate enough. Over eight hours, a loss of half a pound, that sounds a little bit more reasonable in terms of weight. Half a pound lost in weight is roughly one cup of water. So this is more reasonable over an eight hour period. So I hope this was interesting for you guys in terms of weights on the chicken, uh, how much water you drink, how much does it evaporate from your body and all. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to give me a like on this video. I also have an audible link down in the video description below if you're interested in supporting this channel. You can get a free audiobook that way as long as you cancel it before the subscription expires and you can still help benefit this channel. I have a Patreon over here if you're interested in getting early access to videos. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here and click that bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get a new notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching.